So if you missed my previous video, I cooked a bacon and eggs on here, and now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up for storage. Uh, in order to do that, first we go ahead and turn the skillet off. Once we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from uh, the burner. Let it cool down just a little bit before we clean it. We don't want it to get too cold, but uh, we want to try to make sure the temperature of the water is pretty close to equal to the temperature of the skillet. So there's not a drastic difference in temperature when we clean up this cast iron skillet. So I'm just going to let that cool for just a few moments. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and clean up this pan. Let it cool long enough to where you can grab it by hand with no problems. And we're just going to go ahead and run on over here uh, to the sink. And then all you need to do is go ahead and pour some water on this pan. And like I said, try to put it close to the temperature. And the way I'm actually going to clean it is I'm just going to throw some salt on here. You can use a small amount of soap. A lot of people don't uh, say you should not. Um, now this is a lodge skillet. They claim you can. If you do, you just want to use a small amount and rub in there. But I'm going to put that soap in there like that. And then you can get either a uh, uh, kind of a scrub uh, and then just kind of get a sponge and use the abrasive side and just kind of, you know, rub around in the pan. And once you're done with that, you do want to go ahead and dry it relatively quickly because you don't want to let this air dry as they have a tendency to rust. So that's what I'm going to do here is set this right here and dry it. You try to want to get a towel that doesn't have, you know, create lint or anything on your pan. You just want to get it dried real well. You can also put it on the stove at a low heat and just kind of let the stove dry it if you'd like. And you want to be sure and also dry all sides of the pan. And once you get the pan dry, we want to go ahead and go ahead and put a little bit of grease in it. That will go ahead and help it prevent any rusting and have it ready for your next cook. And I use avocado oil. Uh, you can use flex seed oil is what some people prefer. Um, you can use vegetable oil. You could even use some of the bacon grease, um, which I use sometimes. Uh, save it and you could use that to go ahead and put a little season on here of grease as well. But I'm just gonna add just a little bit of avocado oil. And rub it all out through the pan. You can even just do, if you'd prefer to have a rag, kind of rub it around in there. To get a gentle layer all over the pan. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and pretty aggressively go ahead and remove the rest of it. Uh, so 
it's really just a small thin layer. So you'll just kind of scrub it. Like that. And then you just want to go ahead and it is ready to be stored. And there you go for your next cook. And I like to store mine in the oven. You can put yours wherever you prefer. Now just be sure before you preheat this thing, you take it out if you are going to be cooking something. So hello and welcome to my channel. My name is JB and this is the JB Cooks YouTube channel that I've launched. I really enjoy cooking with cast iron skillets. So at least once a week, I will be bringing a new video out uh, that's going to uh, be a recipe, uh, something that I enjoy cooking on it. It could be an oven or a stovetop item, but it's going to mostly be cast iron skillets for now. And I'm going to go ahead and help others because I find there's a lot of the items that are hard to find uh, to cook on a cast iron skillet. I also want to point out I'm not no chef. So there's going to be things that people are going to say I'm doing wrong, but it works for me and it will work for someone else too. So it may not be the proper way all the time, but it will be ways that you can find to cook with the cast iron skillet. So be sure and subscribe if you want more of that. And I'll be bringing you videos weekly right here on JB Cooks. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day.